overdose vapes Keep your coils tight Keep your wicks wet Hello and welcome back to Overdose Vapes, this is Travis and we're taking a look at something that's really <laughs> It's dumb, but it's fun. It's dumb fun uh, Yeah, so this is called the Biturbo Mech. It's from Tesla I got mine from heavengifts.com. You guys can check it out if you want. I'll leave a link below. You can go check it out. Uh, Tesla is one of my favorite underrated companies. You know, you ask any of the people that come on the Sunday show, everybody has a high opinion of Tesla. You know, they, the Tesla Invader 3, they have the old Tesla 2 wood one. You know, there's just, there's tons of products that Tesla has made over the years that I think are super high quality. And they just, they're kind of one of those companies that flies under the radar and they don't get a ton of credit for what they do. But, um, yeah, so they, um, te you know, Heaven Gifts offered to send this one out. They, they did send it out free for this review. I, when I saw it, I knew I wanted, I definitely had to be a part of this. I wanted to, to check it out. Um, it, <laughs> right away, I see, I do see a problem, you know, um, is that they say it's the Bi Turbo Mech Starter Kit. Now, this is definitely not something you want to be starting with, honestly. Don't ever, <laughs> don't ever recommend this to a new vapor. Then what it is, okay, what, what is it? What's, the basics of this. What is it? It is a series box mod. Uh, it's, it's you know labeled as a mech, but there is some kind of regulation. There is you know some kind of something going on here because they um, it has buttons, it has lights, it definitely has like an ohm limit you know um, shut off. And yeah, it's not just a straight mechanical mod, but uh, it functions much like a mechanical one. There's no screen. You don't change any of the wattage or voltage. It's just kicking out your volts. Um, and it's kicking out a lot of volts. You put two 18650s, that's what it takes. And it has two atomizers. I mean, that's we should have started with that, I guess. That's the whole buy in the buy turbo, is that it has two atomizers, yeah. Uh, so you get four coils going on here, two atomizers. They have uh, velocity style decks, but um, the top caps for them are connected, you know. So each one has its own little separate top cap, and then both those top caps connect to a little top piece and the mouthpiece. You guys will see that in a second. Yeah. So it is a series box mod with two addies, and that is its whole claim to fame. Got a single button, it's got a really, really nice textured finish to it, and it takes two 18650 batteries in series. So let's take a hit off of it. Yeah, um, it, it is fun. For me, I have a ton of fun with this. I think there's a lot of people I know that would have a ton of fun with it. When I first got it, I thought I was going to, I honestly thought I was going to think it was stupid uh, because, and not really something I would use ever because of the two atomizers. You know, a series mod is, is one thing when you have, you know, a lot of bolts, you can have a lot of fun with that, blow giant clouds with stack mods and just series box mods. They are a lot of fun. And playing with eight volts can be a lot of fun. But I thought having two atomizers, I'm like, you know, that's a, that's just too much. F you know, four coils. Wh who's going to want to vape that day to day? And, you know, in, in a lot of ways, it is too much. Uh, when I first put coils in here, fired it up, took a hit off of it, um, it was it caught me off guard. It, it really did. Uh, it, <laughs> it was, like, overwhelming. And I, you know, vaping a three even taking a few big pulls off of this, I got a little nicotine buzz from it. So, but going into that, you know, going into it, I, I, I just didn't think about it in the way I should have thought about it. You know, this is basically a quad coil uh, series build, you know, and that's the way you should look at it. It's a quad, it's a quad, quad coil series mod. Now you can use this, you know, you can uh, on the, with the push of a button, you can turn one side on, you know, or one side off. You can use just one of these atomizers. I don't know why you would, honestly, because it's made to, you know, to use with two. And you can take these atomizers off. You know, you can unscrew these little decks and put one, you know, a regular deck on there and just use it as, you know, in one series mode. But again, I don't know why you would if you bought this you probably want to use it with both atomizers. Uh, right now, I'm using it with uh, Dis One uh, Vanilla Custard in here. 
I, I think the vanilla disc one, especially vanilla custard by Coil Vapes, is an exceedingly great liquid for series mods, and it holds up really great to um, to this as well. Um, the textured finish of it, I really, really like a lot. I think it feels really nice. So you hit the button. There's your lights, your indicator lights here on the bottom. Uh, on the very bottom of the mod, as you can see, there's two buttons here. These buttons and venting. These two buttons are how you control which channel or which RDA you want to fire. If you want both, obviously you would have both of these lights showing. You hit one of these buttons, it'll turn off one channel and it will only fire this RDA. Or you can turn them both off and it will not fire either one. It'll just blink. Or you can turn one on, it'll fire that RDA. Turn them both on, turn that one off, it'll fire the opposite RDA. Or, you know, obviously if you have this, you're probably going to want to fire both RDAs. And that's how you do it. So, this thing is rowdy, as you can imagine. The only thing that I regret, only, the only downside that I have with this thing so far, uh, but beyond, you know, beyond the obvious fact that this is a very, very niche product that not everybody's going to enjoy, is that you cannot use this. Although you can use just one of these RDAs, you cannot take off one half of this top cap. You cannot use these RDAs independently of each other, which is a, a little bit of a drag because I think the, the decks are, are good. They're velocity style decks. There's nothing wrong with them. It would be nice to have the option to use these independent of each other with a, you know, a separate top cap, but you can't. So it is what it is. Boom, those things are like explode. There's really not a lot to see here. It is a very, very simple design. Here's the battery door here. It's got a nice little Tesla 6 uh, logo and, and branding there on the top. This is where the batteries go. Here's a magnet to hold the door on. It's a little half, little half sleeve door with two strong magnets on it. It's got some more venting here on the side. This thing, okay, so they, they label it as a bi-turbo mech, but obviously um, it does have some protections built in and they're, it's very, very um, finicky with the, with the protections. It will, not fire, um, it will not fire at all if there is a below 0.2 ohm coils, if you have both RDAs going. It will not fire below 0.1 if you're using a single RDA. It basically puts full output of both batteries into the RDAs, it does not um, it does not control the amount of voltage or wattage that you're using. You cannot change that. It just puts the full output of the batteries. Basically, it's like having a regulated mod in bypass mode. It's just a series mod. That's what it is. It is a series mod, but with some protections built in, which I think is you know is nice. It is nice. It is very finicky with the battery life. Um, if you if you get the batteries down, I'm not exactly sure what the voltage of them are, on them are, but I, th I think it's about, if you get them down to about 3.5 volts, it will um, refuse to operate. But then again, like I said, I don't know the exact voltage on the batteries, but it will um, stop you from operating. On the back of the box, it tells you quite a bit. One or two RDAs, arbitrary switch. I, I don't think they know what that means. Um, channel selection button, that's the same thing. Um, bright LED indicator, it is very bright. Dual 18650, they're not included. And yeah, dual die cast zinc alloy body, which you know, is very, very nice. It's, the construction of this is great, it really is. It feels hefty, it feels sturdy. You can take it out with you without any fears of it breaking. It's not a, a plastic piece of shit, it's a really nice well-built uh, little machine and yeah so you can take these off these RDAs do come off so if you want to use this as a single you know a single RDA just a single series mod RDA or single RDA series mod I mean you can and you don't have to use the one that it came with obviously if you want to use it in single you're gonna have to use something else and yeah let me put something else on here just for shits and giggles I'll show you no, not that. Never mind. But you can, obviously. I'll put something on there, just so you can see. But I'm not gonna fire it though, because this is not a series tank, <laughs> obviously. But yeah, so.
so you can use it with a different RDA on there. You're just gonna have an exposed 510. These are spring-loaded 510s, which is nice. But I think the majority of you, if you get this, you're probably gonna be using it with the RDAs that are included in dual RDA mode. Because otherwise, honestly, why would you be getting this? It is a device built around this gimmick of using two RDAs in, at the same time. And um, yeah, that's how I use it. I find that, um, you, you know, at first it was a little bit much to take, but I did get used to it. And I do find that it provides a really, really nice vape. You could obviously put two separate flavors in here. Um, that's the first thing that my dad said when he saw it. He's like, oh, so you can vape two, two separate flavors. Um, I haven't done that. I didn't even occur to me to do that. I don't know why. But yeah, you definitely could. Yeah, one of the only downsides I, that, that happens to me quite a bit is that these buttons on the bottom um, are prone to get pressed. And then I'll be vaping just one side without really realizing it. But yeah, that's it. This top cap section, I think, is the weakest link. It is, it's a little bit chintzy. The top is just kind of plasticky. It's a little plasticky. Um, I'm not sure that this is Delrin. I don't think it is. It feels like plastic to me. And then these are just, I think, they're probably aluminum. The actual bodies of the RDAs, I think, are just aluminum. And they just fit there. You know, they're, they're, they fit on there. A little bit snug. And then you have to find where the airflows are. These are adjustable, the airflow slots. And you find them, open them up. That's the Biturbo Mac. Okay, we're back. Um, yeah, so Yeti's uncle, pick one of these. Up. No, I'm just, just fucking with you. Um, Yeti, um, you know, people like Yeti, people like me, people who are enthusiasts. Um, this is fun. It really is. It's stupid. I know it's stupid, um, but it is fun. And you know what? The crazy part about it is. I actually use this. I took it to work with me the other day as my only vape at work. Because um, when you when you vape it the correct, you know, the correct way with the correct coils and the correct liquid, it's totally functional. Like right now, you just have to understand that you're putting like 8 volts through two atomizers. And um, yeah, like when I looked at it like that, you take a quick quarter second pull off of it and you're blowing out a giant cloud. And that's Totally how I like to vape. Like when I vape mech mods, I build super low because I want a, an instantaneous, like right now, quick, fast, hot vape. And that this gives me that as well. Just a lot more of it. You can quickly fill up a room with vape from this thing. So, uh, what am I going to give it for a score out of five? Uh, that's a tough one. Because I really like it, right? I like it more than I thought I was going to like it. But it's definitely a very, very niche product. Does it function as, you know, as intended? Oh, yeah. You know, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. And it does it really well. But do I recommend it to everybody? No, no, I just don't. Because this is a lot. This is a lot of power. It's a lot of, it's a lot of vape, you know. And it's going to be... For a lot of people, this isn't going to be something you're going to want to carry around. Um, I do think that the finish on this is nice. It's got this really nice textured finish to it. It's not too heavy, you know, surprisingly. And it looks really, really nice. It doesn't look stupid. It looks nice. It is done as classily... I don't think that's a word. It's done with as much class as possible. You know, considering that it's a series model with two atomizers on it. I think it looks great. And it functions great. So, scoring it. I gotta give it a 3 out of 5. Um, I would give it more. If it was just me. If I was just, if this video was only for enthusiasts. But it's not, you know. Everybody has access to this video. And so, I gotta keep it real. Um, if you're just starting, don't buy this. It's too much for you. But if you are an enthusiast who likes to play around with lots of coils and you're into building, and you're into series mods, um, it doesn't hurt to grab this and play with it. It's not expensive, and it's a lot of fun. So, yeah, it's recommended for a certain type of vapor, and that's your enthusiast grade who already have experience with series mods. I think that if you already have experience with series mods and you want to try something different, this is a great way to do that. So, take that however you want to take it. Um, I would, if I... <laughs> 
If this broke, would I buy another one? Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, there's so much I, I want out there right now in the market that I probably wouldn't buy another one, but I would miss it if that means anything to anyone. I love this model. I really do. I've been, I've been using it every day. When, especially if I leave it at home, the first thing I grab when I come home from work after a hard day at work, the first thing I grab is this. Because this, man, this will melt away the stress. I'll tell you that. All right, so yeah, that about does it. Um, I really want to thank Heaven Gifts for sending this out. I really, really appreciate that. And we will see you guys next time. Until then, please keep your calls tight, especially if you've got a dual atomizer, a series mod. So yeah, keep them tight. We'll see you next time. Peace out.